What's up everybody? Your favorite mobile mechanic, Mobile Mick 2013 Ford Fiesta SE. Customer complained that the brake pedal is traveling on her while she's trying to brake and it's very scary for her. After test driving a vehicle, I told her I said it feels like you got a bad master cylinder that it feels like it's bypassing. So I got a new master cylinder, about 215 bucks for the master cylinder. Ridiculous price. But anyways, we're gonna replace that. Um, I did try to build up pressure in that master cylinder manually, and I have two plugs, one in each port for the brake lines, and only one of the plugs popped out, which tells me there's bypassing going on in that master cylinder, because they both should have popped out. So, here's the new one, we're getting ready to bench bleed it. Here's the old one. And you see I got these two plugs in here, one and two. And when you hit this plunger right here, when you pressurize that, keep that plugged up. Only the front one's popping out after I pump it a couple times. Both of these plugs should pop out. There should be equal amount of pressure. And only the front one's popping out. So that tells me this is bypassing in here where the cylinder's at. It's bypassing going on. So, let's see if I can get this set up. Maybe give you an example. The other one's still in there. It should have popped out as well. So there's definitely bypassing going on. And that's why we are replacing the master cylinder. Now I do recommend that you do not use the old fluid. The old fluid in this one was dark, black, sludgy. And you can only imagine that's going through your ABS module and your brake lines down to your calipers. And it will cause failure of the brake system. So, I do recommend using new brake fluid when installing a new master cylinder. There's a reservoir. This is going to be fun to do, but not impossible. So let me get this reservoir cleaned out and then we'll start getting it ready for bleeding. All right. All right, everyone, I'm back. Let me see if I get this set up for you. The way this connects this snaps on here just like that right. we're going to run these into here we're going to fill it with brake fluid dot three is what it calls for us so dot three is what we're using Getting there. Air bubbles are coming out. Looks like she's full. Now we got a 
winch believe this make sure all the air pockets are out Things gotta be filled all the way up in order to get a good bleeding out of it. It's a weird design, you know. That's so ingenious. Who went to school for engineering thinks this is a good design. Well, his parents ought to be proud of him for making things worse. I think this is so ridiculous, but. Well, I know I'm just a mechanic that's been doing this for 30 years. So, that thing doesn't matter, I guess. You know, I'm out here in the field doing the, the work. So, why should I know anything? can do this with the uh, this is a bench bleeding process and it's not difficult but it could be a pain in the ass and there's all sorts of ways you can do this you could do this by installing this on the car and using the brake pedal to pump in the air out or you could do it manually and I think what we're going to do is we're going to probably use the brake pedal. I think that would be better. I say to put it level when you're doing it, but I've never had an issue doing this on a vehicle. Let me get this stand on here real quick. Now I will just. Make sure you put your nuts on because if you try to push that brake pedal, you're just going to pop this right out. So, we're going to fasten this down. We're going to bleed this thing using the brake pedal. I would recommend probably pumping it about anywhere between 5 to 10 times slowly. You don't have to press on it hard. Just pushing the air out. And, uh,
get that out of the way so the camera can focus on the uh, master cylinder and not the damn vacuum hose. See if I can tuck that away. Hopefully that will stay. saw those air bubbles going through that line but they're pretty much out now so now what we'll do is we'll start hooking the brake lines up and you don't necessarily need to bleed the rest of the brake system uh, there's still fluid in these lines so the brake system may not be necessary. We'll see once we get in the car and start driving it to see how it feels. Uh, if we need to remove the, or if we need to bleed the brake system, then we'll come back and do that. But other than that, I think we'll be all right.
Sorry about that, guys. They want to try this as quick as possible. So I lose too much break. a little bit on the skin. I don't know if any of y'all have noticed that or not, but brake fluid can damage your paint. When you get it on your skin, you can feel it heating up. Be very careful because the brake fluid is slick. Spirit, clean it off. I'm using brake cleaner, a very good solvent. I use it on everything. Uh, that's just the number one go to for any mechanic. Very good solvent. We use that shit on everything. It's like that. Tom's. Touch my swag, you wish you could. On my mama, on my hood. Now they say, in order to get this reservoir off, you gotta peel all this shit off. Well, you don't, you can actually weasel it out of there. millimeter nut and me being the mechanic I am I always have an extended magnet that I use to put my nuts in the right spot you know what I mean my nuts in my bowl type of spot you can't get your fingers in there so you need something else It's a tight spot. It doesn't mean it 
Anything's possible. day just before noon send me a text tell me he just got out of bed and two hours later he's calling me hey can you come look at my car I'm like dude I'm working man I told you we had work I'm working you didn't show up this is the fourth time I've given you a chance I can't do it anymore
master cylinder reservoirs tied down the nuts it's supposed to have everything's looking good I'm a little concerned about the brake booster itself but we'll see let me put this stuff back together and see what kind of response we get Get the battery box back in. Three 10 millimeter bolts. Two 8 millimeter bolts. One there, one there. The computer comes off. Now we're going to put the battery back in. Okay. Positive first. 10 millimeter bolt or nut. Need a 10 millimeter wrench. Nice and snug. Negative last. Well, this thing sounded hot when I connected it. It shouldn't have been. Oh, everything's turned off. Shouldn't have been hot. Hopefully, we don't have to drain the battery in this thing. Let's make my 10 millimeter go. Remember, didn't have any nuts holding it on there, so I'm just gonna put it back on there. All right, get everything off of this thing. Take it for a test drive, and hopefully we're good to go. You see that brake fluid in there eating that shit away? It's pink. That brake fluid did that shit. That's how corrosive it is. Now, according to the book, it says it's about a two and a half, three hour job to do that. That took me about an hour at the max. So. Yeah. The brake fluid started eating the paint, didn't want to hit it with my chemical, just ripped the rest of it off, so. Alright. This thing's probably been wrecked before, who knows. Alright, Mobile Mick, your favorite mobile mechanic. Brake Master Cylinder 2013 Ford Fiesta Automatic Transmission. Alright, and make sure you plug brake level sensor back in all right any questions leave a comment and I'll let you know uh, the nuts that were moved those are 13 millimeters sorry 13 millimeter the brake lines are 13 millimeter and the nuts on the reservoir are 10 millimeter that's all you fucking need to do this job. Mobile make your favorite mobile mechanic. God bless you all. Be safe. Praise God for another day. Thank you and have a good one.